Yeah, you saw the thumbnail and title, and that's exactly what this is. It's a TLC Smasher Pass. <laughs> TLC Smasher Pass, April 1st, guys. Woo! We're doing it. We're doing it. Comment down below your opinion on whether or not I'm right on this Smasher Pass. Okay, guys. Yeah! yeah! TLC has been innovating television for years with so many classic TV shows. Thousand Pound Sister Wives, 1500 Pound Guy Story. They love making shows about people who are down and out, really, with addictions. It's what they fucking love doing and they love exploiting it. So do I. <laughs> but what I do is different though, okay? I'm not gonna be able to explain how because I'm not that smart, but it probably is. This video is me diving really deep into what I know, and that is about people of size. By the way, it, I know it's a joke. It's a joke, right? It's a joke. I love p all p human beings. I've curated a list of five mega TLC stars, and we're gonna see just who the perfect candidate is for this video. The first person is called the Vanilla Hippo. She was on TLC for a money. while. Since finding a job was out of the question at my size, I chose to start fetish modeling. She looks great. I mean, I'm gonna be honest with you guys. She looks really good. She used to weigh a thousand pounds, lost a bunch of weight. So major props to her. In all seriousness, this video is a joke video. So all the offensive shit that's in it, I, you know. Here's her episode make money, Since finding a job was out of the question at my size, I okay. chose- Love it when they started like that. To start fetish modeling for a website that catered to people you know? who liked large women. Wow. Okay. So I have a Just setup right in my apartment it. where I can film myself eating. Oh no, she's got a cake and she's eating cake and it's a fetish model. I get it, I understand it. I understand, yes. I'm gonna say pass though. Just for, for now, no, nothing against her, obviously. She seems like an extremely nice person, but I'm just gonna go ahead and say pass out of respect for her. And I eat for people. That's nice. I just I eat what that. I want and they pay for it. That leg doesn't look too good. So that's how I make a living and keep she's going. She's got a carrot cake, getting her vegetables in somehow. It makes me feel appreciated. So I'm happy to do it. Good, well that's fucking awesome. Just a shame that it's gonna be really bad for you, though. Hi, long time no see, everybody. People ask me all the time. Interesting. When is gonna be that cake video? Well, it's right now. She's using your stomach as a table. She's a fetish model, guys. So yeah, leave comments down below. Don't be rude, obviously. Honestly, I feel bad doing this now, but uh, I thought it'd be funny because it's April 1st and I was like, people would be, th they think it's funny if I did this, but whatever. I pass just out of respect. Her gasping for air has me really fearing for her life, but she appears to be doing great now. On the bright side, on TikTok, follow her. My mom's self-image really improved after she started that modeling job. Mom? It kind of makes mom? her happier because those people just find her as beautiful. They find her oh as my a God. human being, not some huge maniac. Is that the vibe that I give off? Do I just, do you guys think that I think these people are huge maniacs? Because I know they're people of size, but I still believe that they're human and she seems like a really nice person and her daughter is incredibly respectful, as am I. <laughs> but there's no question that this job has been unhealthy for me. Yeah. Because I found the perfect community to reinforce my worst habits. That's not good. I last weighed in six oh. months ago, legitimately. What is that? And I was at 811 pounds. That's a lot. I didn't even know people could weigh 811 pounds. I'm going to be honest. I didn't even know that. That's not a very flattering shot that they chose. TLC, you guys are at it again. Very good. She's lost hundreds of pounds, by the way. Congratulations to her. Star number two, Joyce. An oldie, but maybe a goodie. All right, she made it to the list of the most large uh, stars on tick, uh, TLC. I don't know. I'm trying to be not mean here. My 600 pound life more specific. There's literally a list of the most obese people on um, my 600 pound life, which is a terrifying list because quite a few of them have passed away. And a lot of them are doing fairly well as well. Okay. Oh man. Since I did the video where I gained 300 pounds. This is bullshit. What am I supposed to fucking do? What am I supposed to do? Ah! Oh, I literally, I can't get up. <laughs> ah! Like it's really kind of, you know, changed my perspective on being a person of size because I weigh 145 pounds right now. I'm in excellent shape. I take great care of my body. I do eat too much sugar and I step too late sometimes. But overall, I get eight hours of sleep. I meditate twice a day. I pray. I write shit down. I try to be a better person every single day. I cannot imagine what it must be like being trapped in your own physical shell. Anyways, back to the Smasher Pass. 
So I question why God even wakes me up. Oh, her feet don't look good either. That's so fucking sad, dude. Just to go through another day like this. Does so anybody got a number I can call her and help her out and be nice to her? I just want to be nice to her. Can I just be nice to her? Pass. I just want to be nice. Pass. Pass. I just want to be really nice. That's all. I have to pay one of my friends to be my caregiver and help me do everything now. With what money? How do you make money? Dawn. Dawn. Morning. Dawn looks so I sweet. I am. Dawn lives with me and takes oh. care of me. And oh without her, God. things would be even worse. Oh my Because God. I can't even get out of bed on my own. That's how bad off my body oh is no. now. I don't want to see that scene. Why'd they film that? Why'd they film that and put that up? That's so fucking humiliating. So I have a portable potty chair that's next to my bed. Oh, this and when I'm done, thing. Dawn has to clean me up. Oh. And that's probably the most humiliating Poor. part of my day. Okay. Dawn's so sweet. I want to give her a hug. Joyce appears to just live in a small box. She did lose weight since the show, but there's not a lot of information. I hope she's doing well. Pass, by the way, was my answer for that one. Star number three, Gina. If you had a va in front of that, it'd be funny. <laughs> she's the closest to my age, coming in at a ripe 28 years old. I'm 25, by the way, guys, if you, if you couldn't tell. With my limber, my limber spry body. <laughs> Pass. I wake up every day to the same miserable experience. It seems like they all start the same way. We know this. We know this. This is very unfortunate. You have to get washed up today. Okay. So I'll go in there and I'll get your bucket and get that ready mom. for you. Okay. This is a Casey King-esque scenario in which the parent takes care of the child. Jay, your bucket is in there. So Beth just needs to get your clothes and your towel and then you're all set to get washed up, okay? Okay, thank you. That breathing is, makes me really uncomfortable. Do you guys get really uncomfortable when you hear someone who's out of breath, who's not doing anything? It makes me uncomfortable, makes me feel claustrophobic and like I'm gonna panic. You're supposed to breathe maybe three breaths a minute, you know, in terms of like a healthy person at rest. I, I breathe three to four, sometimes two if I'm relaxed. Anything more than that, not healthy. Not healthy. Really, really, really bad. In fact, I'm gonna go ahead and make a sound exhaling and Tara's gonna speed it up and it'll be an entire minute of me literally on one breath. Okay, it wasn't a minute, <clears throat> but you know, standing up and dancing around and, exer and exerting myself speaking, I can still hold my breath for 40 seconds and make a sound. I'm not really sure what my point was. Pass, by the way, pass on uh, on Gina. This episode's really fun too, I've seen it before. Before she goes to work, Beth makes us all what we need for breakfast. Before she goes to work, Beth makes us all a mukbang. Beth seems to be the enabler. It takes away oh, all man. my pain and depression. Does so it? no matter what it's costing me and how much I hate my life, I can't stop. Oh, wow. That sucks. I just want more and more and more. Sounds like a true addiction, guys. <sighs> Don't know how to help. She goes and visits the doctor, okay. as one does when they are a person of so size. So to move ahead, I need to be down to 493 today. Okay. That seems within reason. All right. 556. So you actually gained some weight, and that's not good. Oh, no. No, it's not. I'm just like really mad at myself right now. Poor guy and poor gal, obviously. You started making some progress and moving in the right direction, mm. but you showed me today that you're not sticking with it like you need. So I'm canceling your surgery and we're not moving ahead with that today. Dude's fucking blamed out, canceled the surgery. Be By the way, just pass. Out of pure, purely out of respect, they seem like they have a happy little family going on and hopefully she does well. I don't know anything about the update on the her. It's just kind of sad. I don't really want to think about it too much. Star number four, Shannon. She's the gamer, but not in the not in the bad way though. Not in the the like the using the bad words type way. The fun way that she plays video games. She is bedridden though, like the average Smash player. And Genshin Impact enjoyer. Started playing games online, and was meeting new people that way. Is that, and that's how I, I met can't believe Simon. It's not butter. I'm gonna be honest, like in regard to I can't believe it's not butter. I can in fact believe that it is not butter. Doesn't taste like butter at all. Tastes like salty, shitty fat. Not good. Not good. Do not eat it. It's bad for you. It's hydrogenated corn and vegetable oil. Not good for you. Very bad. Too many omega sixes. Not enough omega th omega threes. Everything in life is balanced, especially the ratio of which omega fatty acids are in your body brain has a great reflection on the uh, homeostasis of your spine and the chemistry within it and your neurotransmitters, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. We got married a few months after that and we've been together ever She's got since. Her cat ears on. I moved Locked out of the nursing home and we got a place together. That's a lot of food. He deserves a more Let's normal read. marriage where three, he doesn't have plates? to take care of me. 
but I've never been able to give that to him. Not in the whole 10 years we've been together yeah. because I've never been able no. to give up food. For as long They're as I've been alive, her. food has been the most important she looks happy thing in my least. life. She's like me when I grabbed my little collectible dog, Freddy, Freddy mm -hmm. Fazbear. Look at her looking at that food. That's all for her? That can't be healthy. When I'm eating, I'm happy. It's pleasure. He's killing her though. I mean, he's killing her just because you're temporarily happy. I mean, you're still killing her. It doesn't change that fact. Pass, by the way, pass. Out of, just purely out of respect yet again. I think I'm starting to pick up on a bit of a theme though. I think these people get happy when they eat. Seems like a pleasurable thing for them. I love that it takes the pain There's away. There's the angle. It takes the loneliness away. Yeah. It's like that one song about the pain away, but it's instead of fucking, it's about food. <laughs> Sucking on my titties like you wanted me, calling me. It's been in the last 10 years since my weight's gotten to be up Ten? over 600 pounds. Oh and I know all that has to add up to a bad good. picture for me. My biggest fear is that that's I go to bed heart. one night and I just don't wake up. Yeah, Simon finds me and I'm already gone. What? This is so sad. I'm frustrated for her, I think. Oh, he's British? So I'm frustrated for her, so I just go ahead and make her 15,000 calories every morning for breakfast. Star number five. It's actually two. A dynamic duo, if you will. Lee and Renee. Lee, he was a sweet guy, and we started spending a lot of time together. And then we were an item at the clinic. But hmm. that broke the rules there. So at the fat we clinic. either had to stop dating or leave. What? Do they even work to in fat clinic? What is the best way to deal with this? Because I feel like it's just the same as it's it's habitual, right? It's the same as all other. We don't know what the f we're doing. Humanity has no idea what the f they're doing. Can't even not eat. What f makes you think you can do anything else? Run a country? Get along with other people? This shit's sad as f By the way, hard pass. Out of respect, yet again. They would get onto us for holding hands. They would get onto us for showing any kind of emotion or Cringe. attention to each other. So Cringe. we just decided we wanted to be together. We wanted a relationship. Mm -hmm. Bony we and love each other, And we've stayed Beautiful. together over the past 11 years Beautiful. since leaving the clinic. Beautiful relationship. But being together with both of us struggling with what. food has not been a good thing. I cannot not even imagine, to be honest. And the only way that we are able to get grocery shopping done is to work together as a team. Well, that's cool. They drive around because together. Because neither unique. one of us would be able to do it by ourselves. Still passed though, by the way. You're gonna sit and stare and wonder what happened. It's just embarrassing. But grocery shopping it's is important for us to do. Looking a bit like Violet Beauregard there in that little rascal. A few honorable mentions, by the way, outside of My 600 Pound Life, because that's not all that encompasses TLC, but this is the one that I've made the least videos on, so I figured it'd be more enjoyable. Tammy, pass, out of respect, love Tammy. Amy, pass, out of respect for her husband, love that family, love the, the kid Gage, love them. Casey King, smash, F yeah. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Hopefully you guys enjoyed. This is meant to be a joke. If you did enjoy, go ahead and watch this video or I'll f***ing make you eat two giant plates of food for breakfast. I don't care if your tummy hurts.